tea. Hey everyone, I'm Jessie Lee, if you don't already know, and welcome to my channel. So, in my last video, I did Instagram Controls My Life, check it out. Um, but you guys picked that I should do a story time this week, and so here you go. So technically, my first kiss was in preschool with some boy named Jackson, I think. I don't know where he is now, and... It was just a peck behind a tree, and I don't really count that, because I was like five. But my real first kiss that I actually do count, a certain amount of people know the exact story, so I'm going to get straight for everyone. So my first kiss was in middle school. I was in the eighth grade, and I had had a few boyfriends before then. <laughs> boyfriends? Um... And I was in the library after school, so at my middle school, um, there was a library right across the street that, that all the kids would hang out in when they waited for their parents after school, and I was one of them. So basically, um, I was with all of my friends, there was a big group of us, and I was with my best friend, we'll call her Angie, and then I was with her boyfriend, Angie's boyfriend, we'll call him Matt, and then Matt's little brother, we'll call him Bob. So, <laughs> um, basically, it was the three of us, and then Bob's friends. I, I have no idea. Like, everyone just kind of hung out with everyone in the library, because, you know, there, there was nothing much to do. So we were all together in this big group with all these other people and we were playing truth or dare for some reason and the library that we we're at is two stories and there's an elevator that goes to the second story and we were on the second story and we were playing truth or dare and someone dared Bob, my friend's boyfriend's little brother, to kiss me. And I was like, oh, no, 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 I do that. And he's all like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that, like, pass or whatever. And here's the thing. He was two grades below me, but he was only a year younger. So I was, like, 14, and he was, like, 13. So wasn't that bad. But, yeah. So I actually secretly had a crush on Bob. But, um, I'm not sure if anyone knew. They probably did. I'm not very, um, secretive. But, uh, I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna kiss Bob. Like, he's, he's a younger man, all of that. And, like, secretly I'm like, oh, God, please, I, I hope, I hope he does. Um, <laughs> and then we just kind of stopped playing truth or dare because, like, no one was doing the, the dares that they were getting. And, um, then me, Matt, Angie, and Bob all went into the elevator to go back downstairs. I don't know why. And, um, I don't know why, but Matt flipped the switch on the elevator so that the lights would turn off. And he's like, oh, so spooky, guys. Like, did I scare you? I don't know why he did that, but he basically um, turned off the lights and I was just standing there really confused and I felt something kind of wet and squishy on my lips. And I, the first thing being a virgin kisser, was um, that someone shoved gummy worms in my mouth. I thought that gummy worms were in my mouth. Not the fact that someone was kissing me, but I thought that gummy worms were in my mouth. That someone just shoved them in there. Anyways, so, I thought that someone shoved gummy worms in my mouth, but then they started moving, and I realized that Bob was making out with me while I was just standing there very confused. And then, the elevator opened and 
we got out and I was very confused still and Bob was just like I had to finish the dare didn't I oh my goodness oh my lord so basically I um when I realized what had happened I slept the living crap out of that boy because you don't just sexually harass a 14 year old first of all and second of all I didn't get any gummy worms that day so yeah that's how I got my first kiss and then later um, he tried making out with me again and it was really hot but he was a younger man and also known as a player so I wasn't having that and I slapped him twice in one day <sighs> all right guys I know that was kind of a short story um, but I wanted to tell you something that was kind of entertaining but also that won't get me in trouble and by the way you know how I said he's a year younger than me I'm 18 he's 17 and he is like a two-year-old now. He's a father and I'm making dumb YouTube videos on the internet. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I know I usually have a little end card, but you know, I figure I make it a little more personal, just like this story time. Um, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you like the video, of course, and if you want to see more. I'm thinking about not being on a schedule anymore because I have been getting really inspired with ideas for videos and I just kind of want to produce as I have the idea instead of waiting till every Monday. If you guys think that's a good idea, leave a comment, leave a like, and we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye guys! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to add a few more things. Um, I will see you every Monday, but if you would like me to start producing more videos, let me know in the comments like I said earlier. Also, if you are in middle school, I just want to say that if you don't get your first kiss in middle school, that's completely fine. Um, as you can see from my experience, my first experience wasn't that great. And I, I just know that when I was in middle school... I was jealous of everyone who got their first kiss in the 6th or 7th grade, but looking back now, it really doesn't matter, and it's really dumb. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys!